In review of button combinations, it's also a really important one to know is that if you go into programming, for example, if we enter a programming mode um, at level one, and this could be any programming mode, and you advance the screens by pressing next, and then you can adjust the value with the up and down, some technicians don't know that you can actually back up to the previous screen by pressing regen. So here's an important thing to know. If you're in any programming mode, installer, level one, level two, history or diagnostics, next moves you forward and advances screens to the end, regen backs them up in case you go past one that you wanted to make an adjustment on. So make sure you know that next is forward, regen is backwards, anytime you're in a module other than user. Another button combination that's very helpful in the programming of a system allows you to quick escape. So let's say you're looking at a system and want to see something in the programming level. You can go into the programming level. In this case, it's, it's the next and the down button. So we go into programming and we want to go in and look at a certain setting. Once we see that setting and or make the adjustment that we want, you could normally press next and advance till you're out of the mode, but it's important to know that anytime you're in programming, you can always press the set clock button or the just mark clock and it will escape you from the programming mode, take you back to the user mode without having to cycle through all the screens. That one might save you some time if you're just wanting to do a quick in and quick out and check a program. Now I'm going to cover another button combination that will be really useful for someone who doesn't normally use this feature because it can trip you up sometimes. Let's say you go to a system and want to enter programming and you push the next and the down button together and nothing happens. Or if you want to go to diagnostics or history, you push the two up and down buttons together and nothing happens. If that's the event, it's telling you the system's locked. So you need to unlock the system and there's a pattern for doing that. To unlock any of the Gen 2 boards, you simply push in sequence the combination of the down button, the next, the up, and the clock. And it'll tell you that I unlocked it. Now I can freely move into any of the programming modes that I need to. And in the end, if you don't want anyone to be able to change the programming without the code, be sure you reset the lock by going down, next, up, and clock. So that's how you set and lock the keyboard.